everybody and welcome to another Transformer related toy review. Today I'm taking a look at the eagerly anticipated Trailer Force TF-01B for Bravo. The uh, Master Armor Vindicator Mode. Uh, this is the uh, latest kind of recolouring rehash uh, from uh, Crossover Gen and I've been waiting for this ever since they teased it back uh, middle of 2013 and <laughs> I'm not gonna lie I got this ripped straight out of the box as soon as I got it and I absolutely love it I really 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 do uh, I know uh, Encline uh, done a, um, a custom uh, as soon as he got his TF-01 and I think they've kind of based it on the custom that he done because it was so popular and they've done a really, really good job. Uh, first impressions, the box is smaller than the original TF-01, therefore should be slightly less on shipping. Uh, basically, all you've got with the box is the basic front cover, which is a kind of darkened out silhouette of your trailer force. Got very minimal detailing on the sides. Then on the back, you've kind of got like a fire birth mode with him there with all the destruction behind him saying oh, I just need a big Decepticon badge on my shoulder but uh, for licensing reasons I don't have one uh, you've got the uh, new parts uh, just indicated on the top here you've got which uh, kind of converts to a shield and he now has a backpack because I know a lot of the people complained about the um, when you add the classics prime to the mould uh, his legs were just hanging out the back there so they've now uh, adjusted that uh, by sticking a backpack on the back there so you can also have the cannons kind of shoulder mounted and also I think these might be incorporated when we get their new Apex armour if you haven't already seen the uh, test shots of the Apex armour go and check out their Facebook page uh, the link is just in the description below he looks like he is going to be insane got mine pre-ordered already other side of the box again much of nothingness and a small, small picture on the bottom there, again. But you're not here to uh, look at the boxes. Let's get it open and take a look. As with the uh, TF-01, he kind of comes pre-robot uh, mode, I guess, in the uh, the packaging. Uh, obviously, none of his accessories attached. Let's just take a nice close look at this guy. The colouring and detailing on him are absolutely superb. Um, first impressions, the joints on the thighs are still tight, but nowhere near as tight as they were on the TF-01. Uh, thigh swivels are good. Knees are a good tight uh, pin. Uh, nice movement. Toes slightly loose. Um, the actual calf um, ankle pivot, really nice and tight. Really nice, tight ball joint on the hands. I know a lot of people um, had problems with their wrists, although I didn't. I didn't have problems with the wrists on mine. Uh, fingers are all uh, individually articulated um, and everything's really tight on there. Uh, the nice double joint there on the elbow, giving him loads of room for some pretty awesome poses. And that face, this head just looks freaking awesome in black. Their eyes are so piercing. Oh, he looks so good. He really does look good. Um, he's got everything kind of moves and detaches and reattaches. So you can have this guy set up as you want. I'm going to try and get as many variations of this guy um, shown as possible. I love the way he just packs these forearm guns. They look so beefy and intimidating. It's nice. He does a nice Decepticon logo on there, doesn't he? Oh, I'm like a small child, aren't I? I really am, but I just really love the colouring. I mean, I don't know if these these sections have been painted or mass-produced in that colour, but they look... The metallic paint is phenomenal. It really does stand out. It really pops. Whilst I leave Prime over there looking all sexified, you can see his, his new rear trailer section with this new added top piece. Um... Look at the bling on that. Looks so nice. And I think it's good because a lot of people said, oh, I didn't really like the way it was used in the previous piece. So they've kind of listened to that and they said, okay, fine. 
will make it into something you can use. And the red on that is absolutely gorgeous. It really is such a nice piece. You've got the cannons, again, just in a nice matte black. They do look really, really nice. And these big, huge guns that he came with last time. Again, done in this same colour scheme with the painted silver and the really vibrant metallic red. Look really, really good. You have the shoulder launchers, which can slide out. Um, again, yeah, they, they, they just look the same as they did before. Just a nice, solid shoulder launching cannon. You've got a few little accessories, which obviously I will come to as and when we transform him. And another nice little uh, section piece, you get a flat top for the uh, Prime. Now, this is a KO, as you probably know, and there's two versions of the KO, one with the silver bumper and one without. Um, this one is obviously the one without, and the trailer roof piece doesn't quite fit on as nicely on here as it does on the other KO or the official product there, uh, because this one's slightly slightly warped at the sides but it still holds into place in robot mode and it looks superb just rather than you having all of the top of of your tri uh, Prime's trailer uh, and top of the cab exposed just a nice little top piece there just to finish off the uh, top of the cab so yep let's take a look at all these accessories on Prime if you decide to have the shoulder mounted cannons actually on the shoulders uh, because of the distance and clearance you can get that on there and still get it to clear so you have to slide it under the actual arm piece to get it to clear I mean he's displayed having them side on like so um, not a fan of that mode myself so again just pull the arm round and you can slide it under and then the arm will slide back round nicely around that obviously these can be mounted on the backpack but I'll show you him in standard prime mode first Going to mount these uh, double cannons, press that into the uh, socket just on his leg and set this guy up for the uh, prime mode, it's exactly the same as it was with the ETF-01, just slide that section out and grab this bottom section which is plugged in, fold it up and there's a plug here and plug there, plug those guys back in, so you now got this uh, gap here, make sure it's open fully and get your prime. Fold all this section down and out of the way like so. Then it slots in through through the hole. Pull through like so. And you want to mount these wheels just in front of the uh, cab connectors there. And slide that back in, locking your prime cab nicely into place. I just move his legs down for the back now, put him into the uh, standard robot mode and we'll look at the backpack after we've got him in this mode. So this is where this new head section comes into play. This should plug in and then clip over and in. So let's give that a go. Let's plug that into the pegs there. One and two, and then slide this over and over. Once we've got it all plugged in, it just uh, kind of tidies it up a bit. It just hides everything away on top. And you can just unplug your head from the other chassis and pop that on like so. There we go. As you can see, the uh, fist grips the gun quite nicely, and because you've got the double-jointed tight elbow joints, there's going to be no movement on those guns at all, and they are not going to weigh him down. Now, there he is in his kind of nemesis prime mode. Um, I like him. I do like him. He looks fantastic. Um, he really is a gorgeous display piece. But, I hear you cry, he looks like an evil prime, but he doesn't look menacing. Uh, I believe that's why they done the Vindicator mode. So from here, let's get him into said mode. Now, 
pay attention to this, people, because it's not in the instruction manual. The instruction manual is basically just a black and white copy of uh, the TF01. So you've got this new trailer section here. And lift this out of the way and just pins here, open it up like so. You're now left with these kind of winged sections like so. With the backpack, once you've opened it up, you can just slide these pieces off. There's a, there's a gap along the hinge. Where are you? Uh, just there, see? There's a little nub, little nub just there, which allows you just to pull this up. Then get your backpack, reverse it round so this section's on the outside, and there's a little hole there, which allows you to plug that in like so, do the same with this side, uh, it says like that, then you can get your rifles and place them down and kind of out or across and out, however you choose fit, you want to fold this section up and over and down into there like so. Backpack, then pegs onto these pegs at the back there. And he's starting to look a little bit awesome. For the legs in Vindicator mode, you want to pull this section round, fold it in on itself. Uh, that needs to be that way round, like so. And it just plugs in, like so, getting those nicely out of the way, then you can plug your rocket launchers in up here somewhere, just in there. Like so. Much meaner. There he is. There he is in evil vindicator mode. I really like him. I really, really like him. Um, he's very dominating and he looks very, very imposing. Um, I didn't have to add the backpack, I just think it's a nice touch and I, I think it does kind of set the figure off a little bit more. Uh, it kind of separates it from your normal primes. Uh, let's just see how he squares up height-wise with some of the other primes. I'm thinking that MP10 has probably bitten off just a little bit more than he could chew. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a slight height difference there, isn't there? Very, very awesome. Vehicle mode for this guy looks absolutely outstanding, in my opinion. Uh, I really like the vehicle mode. Uh, for the full transformation from vehicle to robot and vice versa, please click on the link below to my TF01 um, review. The transformation is exactly the same. Unfortunately, it's quite lengthy, so I've um, decided to cut that out of this video. But it's really, really straightforward. Uh, the shield and everything goes on exactly the same, your weapons go on the same, the guns at the back go on exactly the same, and he looks really, really evil. Oh, I just think they've done such a great job. I mean, everything matches up, the wheels match up with the Prime, and they've done a really good job. I'm very, very pleased with this product. Um, the only thing I've had slight problems with, because um, obviously, um, you want me to be honest, I'll be honest, the shoulder cannons at the side here, because um, I've got a pre-production sample, they, they're they not glued very well, so they have popped open a couple of times. I've put just a dab of glue on the inside of the pins. They're basically two sections that are pegged together, and the guns just slide in and out of those. Um, yeah, they've basically just arrived and they haven't been glued yet, so I've, I've glued them myself, and they now held together perfectly. Uh, yeah, that is the only thing I've had problems with. The joints are a lot better than the TF01. Um, in my opinion, they're not super tight, they're not ridiculously loose, they're a good medium, everything's held together really well, everything looks good, and he really is a dominating transformer, he looks the part, and I'm so happy to have him, obviously he does convert into base mode, That's if you go back and view my um, previous review, I wasn't a huge fan of base mode, it was good, but I, it was just a good throwback to the Power Master Prime, um, I really wanted to show you some pictures of uh, some of this guy as uh, the Power Master Prime with the original G1, but I have no black nuclear style um, primes to go inside, so unfortunately, classic prime would have to do, but he will look amazing 
with uh, maybe buy a G1 Prime, paint it up black, and just stick them in there. I think that'd look really, really nice. So anyway, guys, thanks ever so much for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, this is available from all of your good internet retailers. Uh, it's a great piece. Thanks ever so much for Crossover Gen for getting this out to me quickly to review. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Goodbye.